everybody it's Susan I'm right back with another video to share with you and you guys know that I am on the design team for memory bound scrapbooking in Ankeny Iowa and I would like to share with you a couple of my design team projects that I've been working on and the first one I've got is this long envelope mini there we go um, and I used the Gabrielle paper, that's the new paper from Bow Bunny that's out. And I used the EK Success line of embellishments, the Nostalgics. I showed you guys all of those that I picked up in my haul here a couple of weeks ago. So let's go through this. I've got three projects I'd like to get through. I'm going to try to get two into one video and then do the third one separate. So these are the Nostalgics letters here and it says moments. I have a little stamp from the collection tucked under the flowers. Have some flowers and some real simple prima bling. Let's get in there so you can get it some detail here. There you go. You can see the little flowers in the prima. And I wanted to show you this. These are the coolest things. These come in the Nostalgics collection as well and you can make your own closures for your minis really simply with these and the the basic the, the base for this is from an AccuCut die that I that they have at memory bound that I really like it's the long envelope they have the die so you can cut your own and just simply put them together um, so I've used that and I've used some envelopes that I had from memory bound as well because they just happen to be the same size. And this mini I wanted to keep fairly simple. I didn't want to go too crazy. So I put my kids in here. And these pictures were all taken several years ago. I'm going to zoom in just a little so you can see a little better detail. Here are the corner uh, photo corners from the Nostalgics collection. I have got some of their buttons here and some stamps. A uh, picture of my kids. All these pictures were taken by a friend of mine who's a photographer uh, several years ago. But I really like these pictures, so I wanted to use them in this mini. And then I used the die cut of the library pockets. And this die cut's also available at Memory Bound uh, for the AccuCut machine. Just have some design paper, a string of flatback pearls. You turn it over. There's some paper here tags in here and we're not going to go through all the tags it'll just take too long I've got those put together with a Tim Holtz fastener it's a brad that looks like a screw and here we've got another library pocket and again I've got a little tag mini in there this flower is from the nostalgics collection and of course that is a word stick from Tim Holtz. It says time. Turn it over and I have some of the Prima rosette trim here, the little rosettes and one of the paper clips from the collection. And over on this side, sorry about that you guys, I have some of the Prima trim and some flat back pearls. Um, this metal frame here is from the Nostalgics collection and again I've used some photo corners and I've left myself some room here to journal and I will do that after I bring the mini home. I generally don't journal in my minis until after I get them back from the store. Okay and on this side again it's an envelope and I haven't put any tags in here yet guys. I'll probably put quite a bit of journaling in this mini inside each of the little envelopes. So on this one, these are the Prima E-Line flowers that I have done my rusty rusty flower technique on. Let me get you a look at those. And I've done a tutorial on this. If you scroll backwards through my movies, you'll find them. They've got little black bling for the centers. And again, these are more elements from the Nostalgics collection. And here again we have a little po library pocket. And this one I've taken two library pockets and I fastened them together back to back. 
so that you have a pocket here with the tickets in it and you have another pocket here with more of the tag not tickets the tags I'm sorry and there's more tags on this side okay and on this side it's very simply done I have more of the Prima trim with the flat back pearls and the design paper. And you guys, this this design paper is so pretty. It was so easy to put this together. It just flew together because everything I had was so great and so fun and easy to work with. And again, here we've got the design paper, the Prima trim, and the flat back pearls. And then on this side, we have more of the rusty flowers. And it, there is a, another paper clip up here. And these are some of the typewriter keys. And there is a little postmark here. And I don't know if you can see it. Hang on here. There you go. There's a little calendar in the collection. I tucked that back there. I really like that. And on this side, sorry about that. We have more of the embellishments from the Nostalgics collection, the design paper, and I just, I really like these butterflies. They're really pretty. But you can see it's very simply put together. I really, really enjoyed doing this mini. And more library pockets with more of the Nostalgics collection. This is the trim from the Nostalgics, and it's it's fabric trim, but it's adhesive back, so it works out really well for these kinds of projects. Really easy to use. This pocket I finished the same way, and again, these have tags in them. All of the pockets have multiple tags with my kids' pictures, and. This one says Sam because, of course, this is my middle my middle child, Samantha, is her name. We call her Sam. And then the back, back page. And I don't know if you can read these or not. It's They're kind of shiny. It says Beauty. And these are more of the Prima E-Line flowers. And I actually misted those with the um, Ranger Color Wash in Butterscotch. And then I put the um, Creme de la Chocolate Glimmer Mist over the top. A real simple pearl in the middle. And this die cut here is finished the same as the first one you saw. It's simply painted metallic gold and then the Distress Crackle paint over it in the picket fence. And then I kept the back real simple. And this closes this way. And the string just wraps around the little fastener to hold the mini shut. So that's my first design team project. I also did a layout for the store. And again, I used the Bow Bunny Gabrielle collection. Let me tip this up here so we can get a look. It's kind of, there we go. I think that's a pretty good, I think that's a pretty good shot. I think you can see it there. And again, this is my middle child, Samantha. And these are some pictures that she had taken professionally. <clears throat> um, her senior year of high school, except for this one. She was, I think, 16 in this one. But this is one of my favorite photos. This was actually taken um, in St. Louis. We were down there for... Um, well, we were down there to see her agent, who is Mother Model Management. Of course, it's Jeff and Mary Clark. Hi, Jeff and Mary. Um, but here I've got some simple flowers that I made, and those are real easy to make flowers. They're just gathered and then heated with a heat gun. And that's the, the same satin that I really like to use for my flowers. There's another one over here. I want to zoom in on the centers of those, though, so you can see those. Hang on. There you go. Because the centers in these flowers are actually from the Nostalgics collection as well. I just really like that collection. I know it's not a new collection, but they have introduced some new elements to the 
collect to the existing collection and I really like it. It's really fun and it's really easy to work with. Here is um, a book plate and I've trimmed one of the Tim Holtz and Dodge tickets to fit it. It says live and then I want to show you this as well. See if we can get in there. There you can see it. It says live on the Adash ticket. And then this is a stick pin from the collect from the Nostalgics collection. It says life. So it says live life. And I, I've used the same Prima little rosette trim on this layout as well. Very simple to do. I just distressed the edges, inked them, distressed them. And just some real simple stickers there for the for the words for the title so that's it for that one got one more project to share with you guys I've got my big my big design team project for this time so let me get one more video going here and we'll look at that one thanks for watching be right back